All right, let's try this again. Sorry, the uh, and the internet may go down. So let's go over this real recap. Welcome to 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. will fuel your mind, your body, and your future. I'm sitting at my continuing education class right now. We got a break for lunch, and um, man, I need I need a I need some fuel myself. All right. So today I want to talk about something I always talk about, and then. You really have to take, Dean, thanks for being on again. Sorry, I, I dropped uh, dropped before. It's about imagination. It's about, it's about envisioning. It's about daydreaming. It's about really focusing on what you believe to come true and keeping that on the forefront of your mind. It's imperative. It's a, it literally is a secret of successful people. It totally is. And, I, and, and a lot of you have, who have done great and amazing things in your life, just think about it. It's probably the thing that you obsessed over the most. It's the thing that you thought about the most. It's the thing that you pictured the most. Or, right? So this is where it's at um, because society, you know, where the people who try to be real or think real, don't daydream, all this other stuff, and that scarcity, small mindset, you know, your reality is based upon where we came from. It's not really the truth. So what I want you to do is just understand that you could make, you could think right now about something. I always like to use the sexual analogy because it's, everybody has experienced it. So when you guys, when you think of a really hot looking girl and take it as far as you want, it actually creates a physical, a physical response. Correct. All right. Women, same thing. Or, or, you know, just thoughts could, you know, create things. So if we know that a thought could create a physiological response or manifest into it, so why the hell wouldn't it work in, in other areas of our life, right? Where we will maybe not think sexual thoughts, but thinking, you know, uh, career thoughts, dream thoughts, envisioning the goals, the desires of your heart, and just going after them. You know, so when I did that, we are heroes. So I, I didn't think I want to do a talk. I actually pictured myself on the stage, doing the talk, seeing the people, getting the effect, applause, knowing what, what shirt I was wearing, feeling the air, like when you envision something, you imagine, I want you to, guys, we got to become childlike again, not childish, childlike. You know, I see my kids, they could play and they could imagine for hours and that's totally robbed and taken away. That muscle of imagination is pulled away from you and that's the most important tool you have to reaching the life that you really deserved in your heart because what starts to happen without that imagination when when things don't happen instantaneously you get frustrated and say well yeah you know I was I was I was overshooting I you know I wasn't thinking realistic like we we actually then sabotage ourselves by giving up versus a kid though you know they think that you know they, they think like huge imagination. So that's one thing, you know, have an imagination like a kid, you know? I always tell you when you imagine, take money out of the equation because it starts to happen. You're like, I'd like to have this. Oh, but I only make this per hour. It doesn't matter what you're making now or anything like that. Like really, if I took money off the table, then you really are clear to talk about the desires that you want or the things you would love to do or the job or, the job or profession or career you would like to have. Yeah, Bob, because what happens when we start thinking about them, we're, listen, we are envisioning. A vision is your vision, right? You can make it as great, as amazing as you want. And to have like belief systems tear you down and tear that down, it's like the only thing you have to foresee the future and to drive forward, you're, we're sabotaging. And, and, and you know, it's, it's not us, it's all of us because we've been taught to do that. Because we hear the other voices saying, hey, you're thinking too much or just be comfortable where you're at. So what I want you to do is I want you, whatever that goal is, like write it down. What is the thing you want? Like that's what, if you, you want to know what I did in my continuing education class? For the past four hours, I wrote down this. I started off at the top of my piece of paper. I put money is not an option and I have. So I put money is not an option and I have. And I wrote down everything that I would want or desire in uh, in the present, like I already have it. You know, I have, you know, uh, you know, I have multiple companies. I have, you know, I'm able. I, I'm investing in in startups. I'm all right. There we go. I'm invest. You know, all these things. You put it in there, and then you write it all out, and it's great. And you get and what. Happens all right. So when you start to do it, what starts to happen, you get excited, right? My energy goes up. I start to sweat a little bit. That's always my good sign because I know that I'm starting to, I'm starting to raise the vibration of my life again. I'm starting to focus on the things that I want, not that I don't want. People are like, people say, I want to be, I want to get out of debt. 
well, you're focusing on debt, you know? I wanna make this. So when you say you want to, you're saying I'm lacking it, right? So you just focused on the lack versus saying, listen, you know, I have an, I, you know, I am here, I became an amazing company, almost cult-like following, viral over the world, different leaders in different worlds, uh, and it's translating different languages, these books, and these are all things that, that I'm gonna do, you know, but I put it out there and you get excited about your future. It, it comes out of this. You envision yourself doing it and when and, and envision it enough to where all your senses are there, meaning that you could see it, you could feel it, you could smell it, you could taste it. Like, you know, you really get all your senses. If you could see that in all your senses, that's crystal, not just sight. And then get inspired by that vision. So I don't want you to be inspired by anybody else. Be inspired about what you see in that vision. So, you know, if, 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 a, if a child, if a child sees himself winning a race, right? So just think, if he's imagining winning a race and he crosses the finish line and he's jumping up in joy and there's all the confetti and then he, then they're putting the first place medal around his neck and you know, and then his mom and dad hug him and he's getting appreciation. See, it's like when you could really think about that now, like, like I could be in the car thinking about that, but just, but it elicits an emotional response and an emotional response becomes inspirational. It keeps you vibrating and attracting much, on, on a much higher level. And it keep it really keeps you motivated during the times of the training. So let's say that kid has to train, but if he always thinks, "Hey, listen, I I already had the feeling of putting the medal around my neck and my parents hugging me and me getting me recognized in front of all my peers," you know that becomes this thing, and then it, it forces you to work hard. It forces you to stop the exit strategies. It forces you to go put all the chips in on you. Yeah, right. Yeah, put all the money, put all the time. Like you actually start to bet on you versus anything else and that's when you get to like I say pull the sword out of the stone put on the glass slipper and realize that you know it's amazing what you had thought and what you had envisioned not only did it come to pass but it probably came it came to pass in a way you never thought possible uh, you could so it's not a, I don't want you to worry about the how it happens just be inspired by the dreams and the goals and the visions of your heart you know so in my office if we envision as a team in harmony 2,000, 3,000 people coming in and you see them and they're happy and they're with their family. And I could even hear the chatter because everybody's talking to each other. You know that chatter that you hear in a restaurant? It's like, it's just like this chatter noise and then you hear the tables dropping and then you know, just people are there and they all have smiles on their face. They're doing amazing. Everybody's telling us how amazing and happy they're getting. So you, this is all there. Like, what are you spending your time thinking? Hold on. Okay. Well, I'm I'm running out of uh, I'm not running. I'm running out of internet. So just think. What are you What are you spending your time thinking about? It's okay to daydream. Be like a kid. Start daydreaming. Start thinking big. And at least if anything, it'll raise your state. It'll get you excited. And it'll motivate you to keep on pushing forward, even when uh, in the now it might not seem like that. So I just did four hours of doing that, and um, it's really the best thing that I think too many people push off. And when they asked me about success principles, I realized that I daydream like a kid a lot. I'm always daydreaming, I'm always thinking, I'm always, but I'm not thinking, I'm always envisioning, I'm always seeing it. And then when I look back at like the We Are Heroes show because we documented it to see how quick it happens, uh, and it happens in a way you never thought possible, but that end result was still there or, or super sim similar. So, you know, I want you to do this for your life, for your relationships, you know, envision you, yourself, and your life at the greatest potential that you think and you deserve it could be. And then start believing in yourself. And then if you can believe in yourself enough, then you'll definitely know that you'll, be, you'll put a, push all the chips in on you and go for the goal you want. Have an amazing day. I'll get back with you guys uh, probably Monday for 15 Minute Fuel. Things are starting to ramp up. Alex, the camera guy, is in town. So we're going to start uh, filming next week. And I appreciate you guys. Please put any questions. Please hit the share. I see there's only three people on here. I know it's my fault. I take 100% responsibility. I used to have 70 or thousands of people. I get it. I'm going to actually talk about that next. I learned a lot of great lessons. So uh, I'm feeling good now. We're all doing good. And I got some great stuff for you. Have an amazing day. Check us out on SoundCloud, YouTube. Share this with your friends and family because it's going to go big. You know, I want you to be the part. So when you see someday how big this really is and we're reaching millions of people and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm at a, I'm at my own unique level 
um, you know that you got we all did it together and you were part of it. So this is the this is the uh, grassroots, a very fast growing uh, future for all of us. Let's enjoy it together and uh, encourage each other. Have a blessed day. Have an amazing Saturday and Sunday, and we'll see you Monday. God bless.